back last century I used to do a bit of stand-up and um, since since diagnosis and I've also worked with doing education in hairdressing with Jane I didn't want having Parkinson's to stop me doing that and I can't get up on stage now and talk and not look like I'm nervous because half of my, this, is, this side of me is shaking like a washing machine so it's a matter of using it as part of the part of the act to to do more of that. Yeah, you know, I just did a um, a um, conference for Goldwell in Vancouver. At so one stage, I had 60 people on the sta on the ground waving their eggs, arms and legs in the air and making uh, noises because we're doing a brain exercise to rebalance their brains, and um, so that's all all a bit of fun. Flippantly, if I had to give people advice who had Parkinson's, the most important thing I've learned is if you're trying to get pills out of your out of the jar, rather than and your tremors acting up, a little bit of spit on the finger, the finger goes into the into the jar, touches a pill, the pill comes out, easy pieces. You still have to be the best person that you can be. And whether that's get yourself as fit as you can, get yourself as mentally strong as you can, just do whatever you can do to be the best you can be. And if you can use the fact that you've got Parkinson's to motivate, and that's a challenge everybody faces in life, but if you can use Parkinson's to give you more motivation to do that, well then, more power to you. Give it a go.